is Reezy, owner of the Reason Sports Network, reporting live at the Reason Sports Center. And today, we have an NFL matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Washington Command. For the past couple of seasons, this has been a nice rivalry. Last year, these two teams met in the NFC Championship game, where Washington ended up winning and advancing to the Super Bowl. The Lions are led by a star middle linebacker, Jeremiah Hawkins. Hawkins is a two-time Defensive Player of the Year award winner two-time first team all pro and two-time pro bowler last week jeremiah and the lions played up against the philadelphia eagles where they were favored to win before the game the lions have had the best defense in the nfl for the past two years and their defense was lights out in this game but their offense failed to show up the lions lost this game three to nothing and that's crazy considering that the lions dominated almost everyone last year the sideline reporter for cbs asked jeremiah about the lions before the game and he was confident that they'll be great this year and confident that they'll win the game. Jeremiah was asked about his outlook on the 30-21 Lions. Jeremiah, how do you feel about your team? And what does it mean to you that the season is finally here after an intense training camp? Uh, I feel good, um, you know, going into that preseason. I felt like, you know, everybody was focused. This is where you really learn what your team is all about, how we respond to adversity, what, we, what we're doing well, what we got to work on. If there was a time for the Lions to get their act together, it would be this week against the Washington Commanders. The Commanders got the ball first to start this game. Jeremiah will be lined up at a middle linebacker in a dime package. He will rush this play, couldn't get pressure. Quarterback throws a completion and this a first down for Washington. They're deep in the Detroit territory right now. Four minutes left to go in the first quarter. Jeremiah Hawkins blitzes again, but it's an interception. Quarterback saw number four coming at him. He got scared and he threw up a duck. Jeremiah got to the quarterback just a tad bit late. And that spin move that he gave him put a little bit of pressure on the quarterback to get rid of the rock. And it was an interception. First down and 10, score is still 0-0. Jeremiah Hawkins on the blitz, getting pressure, but he gets picked up. Should have been picked off right there. Great job by the rookie running back, Donald Taylor, a subscriber to the channel, picking up Jeremiah Hawkins. That is not easy. Second down and 10, Lions come out in their dime package, empty backfield for the commanders. Hawkins, man coverage, locking up his man. Clark trying to find somebody, can't find anybody. Dumps it off, but pressure was all in his face. Forcing the third down and 10. Normally, the Lions like the blitz. Hawkins off of the edge on third downs. Wonder what they're going to be doing right here. Send a tight end in motion. Clark drops back. He undercuts the pass and is picked off. And that's probably going to be a pick six. Clark can't get there. Jeremiah Hawkins goes all the way. They thought that if they would motion the tight end to the other side, that they would get a free look or something. No, sir. Jeremiah was all over that. And that's a great job of not getting picked off by Hawkins. All of that commotion going on, he goes right behind it, undercuts the pass, and it's a pick six. Quarterback thought that he could get that ball in there. No, sir. Number four is just way too explosive for that. The Detroit Lions' first touchdown of the 30-21 NFL season is a pick six. Clark drops back. Those are the Coleman on the slant. He gets the first down. Ben Coleman. First down and 10. 220 left to go in the first quarter. Hawkins drops back in the man coverage. Should have had an interception right there. Quarterback got lucky. Jeremiah didn't see the ball or something. Second down and eight. Hawkins lined up with the tight end. Dime package. Hawkins drops back. Tries to bait the quarterback. He dumps it off to Donald Taylor. He gets the first down. Donald Taylor, subscriber to the channel. A first round pick doing his thing. Commanders around midfield. Quarterback drops back. Throws a screen, but it's picked off by Terrence Moore. The second year man out of Clemson. Put themselves in commander territory, and the Detroit offense got their first offensive touchdown of the season. Lions up 13 0 over the commanders. Time is winding down in the first. Clark, play action. Ooh, what a pass right there to Phillips. Jeremiah gets around the action, doesn't make the play. His teammates make it, though. Less than 10 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Option play. Clark has the ball, pitches it. Jeremiah, put that pain on Donald Taylor. What a tremendous display of athleticism and pursuit angles. He saw the option coming the entire way. Soon as he pitched it off to Taylor, look at number four. Shot out of a cannon. Okay. 
And that will be the end of the first quarter. The Detroit Lions are up 13 to nothing over the Washington Commanders. Washington had a disappointing loss in week one. They got blown out by the Jacksonville Jaguars. And so far, it's looking like they're getting a butt whipping from the Lions. The Lions have been in the dime package primarily this entire game. So Jeremiah has been making more plays in the pass game than the run game, but he makes a play right here as he jumps the snap count, gets in the backfield, and has the TFL forcing a third down and 12. What a play by number four. Once again, first down and 10, option play. Jeremiah Hawkins blows it up, but it takes his teammate Terrence Moore to take him down to the ground. Second down and 11. Hawkins is a disruptor, straight up. It's third down and three, and you know what the Lions like to do. Jeremiah blitzes right here, gets pressure on the quarterback, and he goes down to the ground. Hawkins didn't get the sack himself, but him collapsing the pocket right there for sure forced the sack. Two minutes left to go in the first half, and the score is still 13-0. Hawkins near the line of scrimmage, looking like he's about to blitz. Drops back in the coverage, but they give it to Taylor on the counter. Taylor with a whole bunch of space running down the sideline. Jeremiah Hawkins hawks him down. One of the most explosive athletes in the NFL, regardless of position. Donald Taylor has a lane right here. It's blocked up perfectly, but then you see number four just come right into the picture. Looking like Daryl Green and Eric Dickerson from back in the day. There's not a lot of guys walking around this planet that can do stuff like this. First down and 10. Less than two minutes left to go in the first half. Hawkins blitzing. Clark getting pressure. Evades the sack, but he gets sacked by his other teammate. Forcing the commanders to take a timeout. Second down and 17. Where they would get 13 yards and force a third down and four. Dime package once again for the Detroit Lions. Clark drops back. Throws it on the slant and it's completed to Tucker. Okay. Got into the red zone now. First down and 10. Lions playing quarters. Hawkins abandons his assignment, leaving a man wide open. He gets inside of the five-yard line. First down and goal. That's undisciplined football right there. Clark throws it to the back of the end zone. And Hawkins almost gives up another touchdown, but his teammate bailed him out. Hawkins needs to make a play right here. Third down and goal. Sent the H back in motion. Hawkins shoots the gap and blows up the play. What a play by Jeremiah Hawkins. That was so disrespectful. I don't know why they thought that a guard would be fast enough to get there in time and actually block Jeremiah. Stupid. They just lost yardage on the play, and they're going to have to settle for three. Second down the inches. Ten seconds left to go in a half. They're firing deep. Xavier Baller, subscriber to the channel. The first round pick from Nebraska. A big touchdown play right before the half. The Detroit Lions are up. 20 to 3. After not scoring a touchdown last week, they got three in the first half this week. One was on defense, though. It's Reezy, owner of the Reason Sports Network, and welcome to the Reason Halftime Show. And today's halftime show is brought to you by the Reason Sports Universe. If you want to be a character on this channel, then make sure you stay tuned to this video right here. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. You can also view your player's season and career stats online. The link will be in the description. I also added a social media feature for the universe to be more immersive. The link to that video will also be in the description. If you don't have Patreon, but you still want to be featured on the channel more, then make sure you're active in the comment section. You being consistently active reminds me to put you on the channel in some way. When you submit a form, your character will be put in the universe. You can see yourself in a live stream or video when teams play, but it's highly unlikely that you'll see me controlling your player throughout a game if you don't have Patreon. Signing up with Patreon gives you control over attributes, accessories, gives you a GTA face, control over your backstory, and you'll be one of the best players in the universe. The Lions are up 20 to 3 at halftime, and the Commanders are getting spanked. Luckily for them, they get the ball back to start the second half, but what are they going to do with it? We'll find out. On the first play to start the second half, Lions come out in a dime package, playing cover two, play action, Clark drops back, throws it across the middle of the field, what a dime to Tucker right there. First down and 10, still 20 to three, Clark, play action once again, Hawkins gets the pressure, dumps it off to Phillips, breaks the tackle, still on his feet, okay, decent play right there, five yards. It's third down and eight, and you know normally on third downs, they love to send Hawkins on the blitz. He hasn't got a sack in this game yet. Let's see if he can get one right here. Hawkins beats his man, gets pressure, but he dumps it off to Donald Taylor, and Donald Taylor gets the first down. The rookie doing things in this game. First down and 10. Play action. Hawkins getting pressure. Forced another interception. 
The third pick of the game for the Detroit Lions. Hawkins has one-on-one with the right guard. He beats him immediately. Quarterback panics, and he throws it directly in the traffic, and it's picked off. The Lions have a chance to even get a bigger lead, but they failed on that. Score is still 3-20. Third down and five with a chance to get off of the field right here. Dime package. Hawkins playing zone in the middle of the field. Clark throws it to the sideline, and it's picked off. Terrence Moore with his second interception of the game. And that'll be five turnovers for the commanders in this game. Detroit finally takes advantage of that, and they're up 27-3. Clark just going to have to throw it away after he saw Hawkins drifting back to the running back. He knew that would have been a pick if he threw it there. Third down and 10. Hawkins blitzes. He gets picked up. Clark throws it in the triple coverage. That should have been picked off once again. It wasn't. Luckily for them. The Lions score another touchdown. They're up 34-3. to The Commanders are going out sad. Big time Super Bowl hangover. Clark throws a nice pass right there. Alfred Roach with a 15-yard reception. Now it's 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Hawkins drops back in the coverage. Dumps it off to Donald Taylor. He breaks the tackle. I'm not going to lie. Donald Taylor has looked good in this game. Second down and four. Hawkins on the blitz. Ends up tripping over his man. Quarterback throws it on the slant. That's a first down, and that will be the end of the third quarter. It's all Detroit Lions. 34-3. to after going out sad against the Philadelphia Eagles last week, the Lions are kind of redeeming themselves this week. And let me remind y'all, these are the two teams that were in the NFC Championship last year. Start of the fourth quarter, first down and 10, screen pass coming from the Commanders. Hawkins dodged the blocker, and he pushes Taylor out of bounds. Second down and five, but it'd be third down and five right here. Quarters coming from the Lions. Clark dumps it off to Taylor. Mm. Jeremiah put that pain on him. But that would pretty much be the end of the game. The Detroit Lions over the Washington Commanders. And Jeremiah Hawkins is your player of the game. Five tackles, two TFLs, a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, a pick six. Jeremiah Hawkins was for sure the best player on the field today. Wasn't that impactful in the run game. Made a couple plays here and there. But for the most part, he was great in the pass game. Rushing the passer and covering. Now, he didn't get a sack in this game. But Jeremiah was all over the field. Forcing interceptions. Getting pressure on the quarterback. Speeding up his internal clock. Making him make terrible decisions. This is what we're used to seeing from the Detroit Lions. And this is not what we're used to seeing from the Washington Commanders. But when you lose a generational talent, a Hall of Fame running back, that's hard to replace. Now, if you're new to this channel, anybody with a period next to their name means that they are a subscriber to the channel. Anybody with an apostrophe means that they are a Patreon member. So, Xavier Baller, the first round pick from Nebraska last year. With the 28th pick in the 3021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Xavier Baller, wide receiver, Nebraska. Here's Xavier Baller in his hometown of Houston, Texas, and I know that this can be huge for the Detroit Lions offense. The Detroit Lions have been lacking a big-time playmaker at the wide receiver position, and I think Xavier Baller can add to that. He adds speed and big playability to an offense. He often can make your quarterback right. As you can see, this ball was a bit overthrown. Xavier Baller does a great job of diving and making the catch. At the NFL Combine, he turned heads. We all knew that he was fast, but we did not know that he was this fast running a 4-2-8 at the NFL Combine. At the Senior Bowl, he showed that he can actually run some good routes. Right here is him lighting up cornerback Darius Meadows. Darius Meadows went to Alabama, got drafted with the 20th overall pick in this draft to the Kansas City Chiefs. Something that you consistently see on this film is the elite footwork from Xavier Baller, like right here. Great dig route, mainly because of his feet. He was able to stop on a dime after running full speed, which gave the cornerback some trouble. The reason why I think he fell in this draft is because his route running definitely needs some work. I think that he should work more on the technical aspect of his route running because he normally just wins off his God-given ability. But congratulations to Xavier Baller. But Jeremiah Hawkins, five solo tackles, one pick, a pick six, Two TFLs, forced fumble, fumble recovery, he did it all. Donald Taylor had 12 carries, 70 yards, 7 catches, 34 yards on the ground. But surprisingly, neither offense could even get 300 yards of offense, including the Lions that had 34 points. But it's Reezy, owner of the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you click on the post notification bell too. If you want to see a first round wide receiver dominate in his second NFL game, then click this video right here.